Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Autonotom. And, um, yeah, I've changed round things a little bit. I have hooked up my fern pulvis and furnace to the Emmy controller. I put in a... oh, it's disappeared. Okay. I did have a um I had an input input import bus export bus I don't know what happened to it but I had one and um export I made one and I'd put it on the back and it was supposed to be pulling Okay, that is quite weird. All right, let's see if it will just work with a cable. Uh, I don't think it will though. I think you need... Yeah, that ain't working. You do need the input bus. But for some reason, it's not there. Okay, we'll scratch that. <laughs> I thought I had made an in an input bus, and it was pulling everything in, but obviously not. Because I did have a really weird thing, where I had hooked it up, and then my Emmy controller lost power, and I tried putting back in. I did another um another windmill because I thought well maybe it's too much load for one windmill so I put up another windmill and made that dedicated to the um, the Ellie controller and stuff and it wasn't it didn't like it. it wasn't getting any power at all so in the end I hooked it up to the diesel engine so we now got the high capacity high cap, high, high voltage and it's hooked up, it's running fine, but that is quite bizarre. Did I put it? I don't know if I put it someplace. I don't know if I took it off. I don't know what happened to it. But yeah, so I hooked these up in the hope that I was going to, um, I was going to hook this up to the ME controller and it would just go in automatically. I have put wood down here underneath because I've discovered how many weeks since we've started. This is what, 30 something episodes? And I've realised that you can tell it where to pull the fuel from. So I now have crates under here with um, with wood. I have to do it manually. If I'd really thought about it, I would have tried to hook these up. Maybe I will at some point. But, um, but yeah, at the moment, I've just taken it over manually. And I've put in the trap doors to hide it. Uh, what else have I done? I don't think there was anything else. I brought my bed downstairs. Because now that I've put everything into the ME controller, <coughs> excuse me, into the ME drive, it doesn't make sense having my bed upstairs anymore. I've got lots of space downstairs, so that's that. So, what are we going to do this week? Um, more modern technology. Oh, we need to com we need to claim our stuff. Okay. These I had a look at. Uh, no, the fluid storage I didn't have a look at. All right, um, fluid storage. Would help if I could spell. Um, it's pretty much. Now that's the. Okay, you need lapis. 
because there's other ones that you need uh, for extra cells. Okay, the extra cell fluid, I don't think you need, um, you need mechanism. Let me see. But for some of the extra cells, for the bigger, the bigger storage components, so they've got 256, which actually you don't. 256, oh no. Yeah, you need glowstone ingots. And glowstone ingots, you either get from the arc furnace. No, that's recycling. Okay. You need mechanism, because you need glowstone and osmium. Put it in the osmium compressor. Which is all of that stuff. And then you get a glowstone ingot. So that's what one twenty is one. Yeah, you need glowstone for that. All of these you need glowstone. So we can't do those, which is which is this. How many more do you need? We can do fluid. We can do gas storage. Uh, 1k gas cell keep forgetting it's the top one not the bottom one gas I need yellow okay those are doable I don't have to do those on camera because once you've made one storage cell, you've made them all, so I could always do that off camera. I did want to start auto crafting though, because that is something I have never really done, and I know it's very. Once you get it up and running, it's extremely helpful. So I want to do this. So the Emmy, pa Emmy pattern terminal will allow you to create two types of patterns standard three by three crafting table patterns and processing patterns so that your system can use machines to process items you also need a bunch of blank patterns to write the recipes into okay so we need a pattern terminal and we need 10 blank patterns all right so that's what i was kind of looking at just before I started recording. Terminal. All right, we don't have anything for that. Uh, all right. Do we have an ME terminal? All right, so we are missing whatever that was down there. Annihilation core. All right, we're missing. That's what silicon. No, that's not silicon. Formation, annihilation, fluix dust. All right, let's get some fluix then. Pure fluix and fluix crystal. All right, where is our... Where's our grinder? Did I move it? Did I move it? No, I didn't. Where did I put it? Oh, it's behind there. Oh, the lag. Didn't like that. 
Okay, let's put that in and just do another search for core. Annihilation. All right, we got two of those. So we want a terminal. All right, so we're missing the gold processor. All right, logic processor, which is printed logic circuit and printed silicon and redstone. So let's see what we have in terms of logic. All right, we want one of those. We wanted silicone, so we have one of those. No, we just want one. And we need redstone. All right, let's put you in the middle, you in the bottom, you in the top. It does that stamping thing that I really like. And we get a logic processor. So then with the crafting stuff, we could do that automatically. If I remember correctly. All right, so now we've got an ME terminal. And what do you want? You want a crafting terminal. So we have a crafting terminal, right? That's what you wanted. Pattern terminal, okay. I put that in, and then we want a pattern terminal. Oh, we now need a diamond one. I also want engineering circuit and printed silicon. So do we have N? Yes, we do. We have one. We have one, we need one, and we need silicon. Now down here, and we need a piece of redstone. Back to the inscriber, you, you, and you. Do your thing. Are you not? Are you? Not? Oh, there it is. Looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> Here's me saying it's not clicking. It is clicking. Shane, you were sad. And we have an Emmy pattern terminal. Great. Crafting Maestro. Woohoo! And we need 10 blank patterns. So what do we need for a blank pattern? Right, can we make more than one? And do we need to use the pure Certus Quartz? Uh, encoded blank. Oh, we could use Certus Quartz as well. Okay. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we need that is iron, isn't it? Yep. I need to go mining soon. Okay. And take that back and we want Certus Quartz. 
not pure, but just that's charred, that's pure, that's normal. Alright, why why you no know work? Because that was the recipe, right? That was the recipe. Oh, we need quartz glass. And quartz glass, we need dust. Okay, let us... Oh, uh, we can use... Oh, no. Wrong thing. We need two pieces, so we need 20 pieces of quartz glass. All right, let's go and grind this down. And then after I finish this, then we could go back to mechanism and start building our pul pulverizing machines, our crushes and whatever. And then we don't have to keep doing this all the time. Because this is annoying and slow and we've passed that stage we've definitely passed that stage uh, we've done nine we've got 23 i think this is where i'm going to tell you guys i'll see you in a minute because this is the most meh thing ever so i'll see you in a minute when i finished grinding all my quartz into dust Okay, um, yeah, I've just made my quartz glass, which is fine, stick that in there, and, oh yeah, we're making blank patterns. So hopefully now, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Uh, pick the middle loot chest because we can. Uh, fluid access. I oh, know. We were doing here, that's it, sorry. Interfacing with machines. Now you have patterns, you need some place to put them. The ME interface is the answer. The interface can be placed next to a machine and the patterns inside so that the ME system can access the connected machine for processing. This can be used for things like pulverizing ores, smelting items, as well as much more. You'll have to keep the interface. You'll also have the interface keep items in stock and available to be extracted. This is useful for keeping an attached furnace full of fuel, for example. The block form of the interface can also be used to insert the results of crafting back into the system or as an import into the system from other operations that aren't connected directly to the interface. Okay, I'm sure that makes sense, but I'm going to have to see it in action. Let's see if we can make it. M E interface. It was the block, it was this one. And we are missing another annihilation core, aren't we? No, we're missing a formation core. Okay, so we need let me see what circuit. All right, we need printed logic. So we need some gold and inscriber. So gold, we have lots of gold. And we need the logic press. Right, you do your thing. Uh, there you go. It's doing this little chompy chompy thing. Right, let's leave that going. Let's 
Don't you see, we only needed a couple, didn't we? Let's take those out while it's working. Um, right. No? Or do we need to put it in with the silicone and, and the thing? Silicone, we're going to have to make some more silicone presses soon. And we need redstone. And what do we thing it with? Not we, we want a core, don't we? And formation. Yeah, we need redstone. So you want that, that, and that. That should do its thing. There you go. Formation cores, that's two of those. And what were we making again? I have totally forgotten. Because, you know, this is me we're talking about here. Emmy interface. Interface. We have an Emmy interface. Recursive networking. See, we're getting all the achievements. It's that's 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 good. That's very good. Okay. And we get an interface terminal. Although, how hard is that to make? Crafting. Oh no, not yet. Mole what? Molecular assemblification. All right, that was a bit easier to say than other stuff. Besides connecting interfaces to machines for processing, you can also connect them to molecular assemblers. Molecular assemblers are auto crafters for standing recipe, cra standard crafting table recipes. You can also upgrade the assemblers with acceleration cards to craft items even faster. Note that you can connect multiple interfaces to a single molecular assembler for more pattern storage or multiple assembl molecular assemblers to a single interface for faster and parallel crafting. You can also use the assemblers as single pattern crafters by setting the pattern in the assembler then pumping the items in. Okay, what do we need to make that? A wireless one? Crafting, co-processing, growth chamber, flux, flux wires. Oh, yes, we, we did stop that, didn't we? Right, so was it molecular? Let you. Oh, that's what we need these. Oh, that's what the acceleration cards are for. Right, okay. And of course now we've, what have we run out of? Quartz glass. An annihilation core. We got quartz, the quartz glass, the annihilation core. We have. We need some more dust. So fluix. Let's grind this down. Right, let's take you out. Put you in. Yeah, we need to get... Yeah, I want to finish the main bits in the storage. And then we can move back to making our crushers and stuff. So we'll probably do mechanism after this. I think I've said that already. I can't remember. Oh, don't break it, Shane. Don't break it. Put you back in. Uh, what were we doing? We didn't need that. We had those. Um, put that in. I oh, know we're going to need that. Uh, 
which one is the silicon? That one. Right, so you keep working there. We're trying to make the molecular molecular assemb ass assembler a molecular assembler we have we wanted the annihilation core right so core because me trying to spell annihilation not gonna work right so we want the gold processing thing so we want that's the logic well if we make two so two of those Two redstone and did I not put oh it only does it one at a time oh yes that's right only does it one at a time if I want to do more than one I'm gonna to have to shove it in here Okay, let's get you two going then. Let's take you out. Right, you're done. Put you in the top, you in the bottom. And leave you at it. And... Annihilation core. Right, let's try again. Molecular. And we have a molecular assembler. See, it's so much easier once you have the storage going. Alright, let's pick the middle loot chest. Um, crafting pro... Uh. Oh, we had one of those and we turned it into something. Okay, to work your auto, to be able to auto craft, your ME system will need extra memory. So the crafting CPU is made up of at least one crafting storage and a crafting coprocessor and a crafting monitor. It must be in a cuboid shape. Alright, I. Okay, we will make all this stuff and then I'm going to have to go off and see how, how you use it. Okay. What do we get? Crafting. You need a crafting unit. Crafting, crafting coprocessor. It wanted the coprocessor and the 1K storage, didn't it? Uh, coprocessing and... Yeah, coprocessor and the storage. Alright, Co right, let's put in crafting. Uh, not the unit, the co-processing. Oh, so we need to make the crafting unit. So you need a calculation. Um, calculation, two calculations and a logic. Alright, so how didn't we make now that's making that alright two calculations and a logic we need one of those redstone just need one no, because we need two, because we need a logic one as well. And, did, oh, I just took them out. Right, two there, one there. And, yeah, so if I, if I recall correctly, you'd be able to do this 
with if we had the crafting crafting set up we'd be able to do this automatically we wouldn't have to keep pulling stuff out to put it into the um, the inscribers and everything else to make what we need um, go in thank you the crafting unit and then the co-crafting that and another calculation okay gonna have to start making some more soon we need some more redstone I might as well just keep half a stack of redstone um, might as well do that otherwise <laughs> We just keep pulling stuff out all the time right so put those two together no that was the recipe right oh maybe I need to do it in a normal crafting table where did I get two crafting units from that is bizarre. Alright, where is my nearest crafting table? Put that there and that there. No! Am I missing something? Crafting unit and oh, engineering. Ah! That would do it. Alright, we'll put you back in. Oh dear, fat fingers. Very fat fingers. Where did I put it? Yeah, I put it in that bit. Not where it needs to be, Shane. Right, let's make two of these. Alright, let's try this again. There you go. Crafting, crafting, co pro. Oh. <sighs> crafting, co processing unit. See? That wasn't hard. And 1k crafting storage. Okay. Oh, these are all right. So one k storage, which is that, and a gold one. That's logic. See, I'm getting there. It's getting to be, you know, second nature. I'm getting there. Okay, put that in. Ding, thank you. And again, the middle because we can. Crafting storage, 64, 464k. All right, so we are not doing that now. I can do that all offline because you know how, you, you know that's grindy and tedious. But let's do something we haven't done in a while, which is open loot chests. I don't even know, if, do I have any more loot chests in the system? No. No, I don't. Fine. Let's open these three. 
Um, oh, nice. Emmy cables. Uh, mechanism cables. And conveyor belts. Alright, not too bad, not too bad, not too shabby. Let's empty our inventory. Put the dirt in there as well. And this is where I'm going to end the episode. So, thanks, well, before I say thanks, next episode, well, I'm going to have a look and see how to do, what's this one? Emmy storage bus. Okay, so you can connect the Emmy storage bus can attach a chest, drawer, drawer controller, etc., and effectively extends your Emmy system by adding that inventory as accessible to the system without importing those items into the system. Right. Okay, so all, all my ores and stuff, for example, instead of just having them in the system, I could put them out here so I could access them independently. Because when this goes offline, you can't access anything in the drawers. So, for example, I could put all my ores in um, compacting drawers, so then they're automatically sorted and everything. If you put the Emmy bus on it, it will see it as part of the system, and I could pull from them, but it's not taking up storage here in the disk drives, because I've got a lot of one, one and 4K drives, and that would free up some space. Okay. Well, hopefully the next episode will be the last of our storage where we can do that. I'll have all of my um, compacting drawers and whatever on the back along the back here. Or I could, I mean, I could put them anywhere and then run the cables underneath and put it in. So, now I can say thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps support my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.